We bless his name. We praise God once again. Everything that God is doing, has done, will do. Amen. Praise God. Our faith to believe him. Our faith. And this is what it's going to take. Faith. Faith in God. Faith to trust God. Faith to believe God. No matter what. No matter what your situation looks like. Praise God. If you have faith to believe God and trust him. Amen. I still know this. That you'll never be disappointed because your faith and trust is in him. In God. And I bless God this morning, even as we stated, amen, the word of God out of Matthew chapter 16. I want to start at verse 13. The word of God says this, when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples saying, whom do men say that I, the son of man, am? And in verse 14, the Bible says, and they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist. They were giving out answers. Some say Elias. And some say Jeremiah or one of the prophets. And he said unto them, praise God, but whom say ye that I am? He turned it around. First he asked the question, who who do men say? What are they saying? Who are they saying that I am? Praise God. But then Jesus turned it around to the disciples. He said, whom say ye that I am? Who do you say? Amen. That I am. And the Bible says in verse 16 that in Simon Peter, he answered and said, thou art the Christ the son of the living God. And when he answered, praise God, the Bible says that Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed it to thee, but my Father which is in heaven. Thank you, Lord God, but my Father which is in heaven. And in verse 18, he goes on to say, And I say unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And in verse 19, it says, and I will give unto thee the keys, amen, of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. And in verse 20, it says, then he charged his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. I thank God, amen, for the word of God and still understanding, praise God, even that very last verse there that we read, amen, when he charged his disciples that they shouldn't tell, amen, any man that he was the Christ because the time, amen, the timing, praise God, he was about, amen, praise God, his father's business and still knowing the time wasn't yet. But I thank God still again for the word of God and we give God praise, amen, always for his word and still knowing the word of God is blessed by yourself because it's God's word. I bless God this morning still again, even as, amen, we said here with Jesus, he asked the question to the disciples, whom do men say that I am? Who are they saying? Amen. You know, if we would ask the question, praise God, uh, release it, amen, over the line, you'll have many people saying, praise God, who they believe that Jesus is. And they go by what they've heard of, of somebody else, what somebody else has said, you know, who he is. But then I love how Jesus here in this passage, praise God, where he turned it around. Because even though they were saying, some say you're John the Baptist, they heard about John the Baptist. Amen. Praise God. But knowing John the Baptist was the one who was preparing the way. But even as it went on, some say thou art Elias. Elias, thank you, Lord God. Jeremiah, one of the prophets. Amen. They were just, you know, going hearsay. Thank you, Lord God. And many times that's what we do, hearsay. You know, we hear what somebody else say. We hear what Big Mama said. We hear, praise God, what the pastor said. We hear, amen, so many things that we hear, and we go by what we hear from somebody else. But I still love what Jesus did. He turned it around. Amen. He was provoking, amen, their faith to find out, who do you say? Amen. Who do you say I am? And even as they begin to answer, praise God, well, rather Peter, Amen. Peter answered and he said, Thou art Christ, the Son of the living God. And I still love how Jesus, praise God, he answered. Amen. When he said to him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, because he knew flesh and blood did reveal it. And this is the thing. Many people are uh, getting answers. Amen. Uh, flesh, Flesh and blood, fleshly. But not knowing, praise God, the Bible tells us in John, amen, chapter 4, that God is a spirit. Praise God, he's a spirit. And they that worship him, they worship him in spirit and in truth. Only the spirit of God can reveal, amen, this to you, who he is. And I thank God because even as Jesus was saying to him, amen, my father which is in heaven, 
praise God, but my Father in heaven. He's the one who has revealed this to you. And I believe, praise God, you that's under the sound of my voice right now, praise God. It's only through the Spirit of God that you're going to know who He is, who He is. Amen. For so long we have, amen, learned of who, you know, from somebody else who God is. But God wants us to know who He is, amen, praise God, for ourselves ourselves knowing not what somebody else told us and the only way that we will ever know who he is is through our relationship and I thank God amen when we're saying relationship is not enough y'all I can remember praise God the Bible being on the coffee table come on we can remember praise God the Bible being somewhere in the bookshelf you know somewhere mixed up in with the regular books other books amen and we didn't open that book Amen. And when we went to church, praise God, we only sat, amen, and listened what the pastor had to say, what they were saying, and not opening the word of God for ourselves in reading or even in our own time. Praise God, we can read many books. Amen. Many of us, we do read many books, but how many times, praise God, do we open up the word of God? Open that word, praise God, and read the word for ourselves to know who he is. And I thank God spending time, amen, relationship, about relationship. You know, in a regular relationship, when you meet somebody, amen, you get to know who they are. You get to know what they like, what they don't like, what they, you know, uh, their favorite foods and what they, you know, don't like to eat, praise God, what they, where they want to live or different things. We get all, we get all this information on a regular about people, regular people. But let me tell you, God is not regular. Amen. The God that we are serving, he's not a regular God. Amen. But he's an awesome father. And the only way we can know he's an awesome father is the time that we spend in the presence of God. But still, I love even here, amen, through this passage of what we read, amen, where Jesus is asking this question, who, who do you say? Who do you say I am? Who do you say I am? And I still thank God because even as Simon, amen, Peter, Simon Barjona, he said, amen, praise God, that flesh and blood did reveal it, but my father revealed this to you. And even still knowing, praise God, that Jesus went on to say, amen, praise God, amen, to Peter, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. Thank you, Lord God, and the gates of hell shall not prevail, amen, against it. Amen, praise God, I'm going to build here. And I thank God because, listen, when you come into the revelation, amen, of who God is, let me tell you, praise God, amen, thinking about that rock, amen, praise God, when you think of a rock or stone, thank you, Lord God, amen, that can't be moved, nobody can, amen, you can't destroy that, amen, to know when you come into the knowledge of who your father is, really knowing who he is in your life, it doesn't matter what comes, praise God, and I still love even as the word of God says, the very gates of hell shall not prevail against it, won't be able to destroy it. Nobody can destroy, praise God, when you know who he is. It doesn't matter, praise God, sometimes either. Let me tell you, I understand, church, church. And I believe, praise God, many of you that's on the line right now, you probably know about church hurt. Amen. But let me tell you, not even church hurt can destroy, amen, praise God, what you know and who you know. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. So many times you find people who walk away from God or walk away from the church. They say, you know, well, this one did this to me or that one did that, you know, and we're fine, you know, enough in the church, but hypocrites. But still, I love and understand that even in the church, thank you, Lord God, the church should be what we call a hospital. It should be a place, praise God, where people come to be healed. Amen. Praise God and understand, amen, that whatever illness, whatever sickness, praise God, there is in the life of whatever person, praise God, that you should be able to come to the house of God and be healed of whatever it is in your life. But even though, praise God, you find people who walk away because they say nothing in the church but hypocrites, amen, and I ain't going there, but why do you walk away from God? Amen. I'm just talking this morning, but I praise God that somebody hear it. Amen. You find where people will walk away totally from God. And the question is, amen, or still when you look at it, not the question, but when you look at it and understand, you know, I remember hearing, praise God, one of our pastors, amen, share about, you know, restaurants. Amen. You might have a favorite food. Amen. And that favorite food, you went to your favorite restaurant, you ordered your favorite food, and that food came out, but it wasn't so good this time. Amen. Praise God. And you made up in your mind. You didn't stop eating. Praise God. But what the thing may be, you go to a different restaurant. You just found another place. Praise God. To, to eat. Amen. From. 
or better yet, even make it yourself. But what I'm saying is this, so many times we come up with reasons or excuses why, amen, we don't want to serve God or we walk away from God because of somebody else or because something didn't turn out the way we thought it should have turned out. But I still thank God because still even the question being asked, who do you say? Who do you say that he is? Who do you say? Amen. Praise God. Even as Jesus asked that question and even as Peter answered. And I still thank God because even in this passage, amen, he said, I'm going to build my church. And knowing that the gates of hell shall not prevail, amen, against it. Amen. Praise God. I don't care what comes. I don't care. Praise God. Understand what we're saying. Not caring. Amen. Whatever may come up or try to come up against it. When you know, praise God, when you know who God is. When you know, praise God, and understand that nobody can take that away from you. It's in your Noah. It's in your spirit, praise God. You know the true and living God. Amen, praise God. And you understand that even when people come with a lie, when people come and say, well, you know that this has happened over there and this happened in that church or that pastor did that. No, listen, when you know who God is, Amen. Still knowing who God is, praise God, the very gates of hell will not prevail. Amen. Against it because of your revelation. And this is the thing, praise God, that we have to have a revelation of who he is. We got to know who God is. And I thank God because still even again, even as the Lord spoke to Simon to him. Amen. He said, I will give unto you keys to the kingdom of heaven. I'm giving you keys. Thank you, Lord God. And whatever you shall bind on earth. Praise God, he says, shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose. Thank you, Father. Amen. On earth shall be loose in heaven. And I thank God still again knowing that we've been given keys to the kingdom of God. If you've given your life to God and understanding, amen, the keys that we have. Praise God is still knowing, looking in the word of God, we have so many promises from God. There are many promises in his word. And I Oh, thank God in Jesus' name that even as we, praise God, stand on the promises of God and trust in the word of God and still knowing that God is not slack concerning not one of his prophecies. He's not slack in them. Amen. Praise God. If there be any fault, the fault will be with us. Amen. But it's never with God. But I get so, amen, praise God, the word, amen, and this is just the word for lack of word right now, tickle. Amen. Praise God at people when they say, you know, that God is not real or, you know, this not real or this not that. Praise God. Or, you know, but I still thank God in understanding who he is. It still has to do with us knowing who he is and taking the time, amen, to know him. Praise God, knowing God and knowing that he would be whatever we need to him to be in us. And I thank God because even as we share, praise God, this is my Bible, my Bible. Thank you, Lord God. The Bible that's not on the shelf. The Bible that's not on the coffee table. Amen. But the word of God that we have to take and allow this word to get in the, inside of us. Amen. Praise God on a regular, every single day that we are the word of God living on the inside of us and still knowing it is the honest word of God, incorruptible. Thank you, Lord God. Indestructible, everlasting. This is an everlasting seed, a seed, thank you, Lord God, that will never die. Amen. Praise God. We see a lot of things come and we see a lot of things go, but I thank God the word of God, amen, is not going anywhere. And even as the word of God does tell us, God said in his word, heaven and earth may pass away, but my word, praise God, is going to stand. This is the word of God that's going to stand forever. And I thank God still again that you and I, you can declare this out of your mouth. I am what God says I am. Thank you, Lord God, and I have what God say, amen, I have. You can have whatever the word of God say you can have. Thank you, Lord God. It doesn't matter. Sometimes, you know, you ask questions, you know, who said you couldn't? Amen. And when you think about it, praise God, it goes back to the garden. Amen. Where the devil, praise God, he's been here a long time. Amen. Where he spoke a word, amen, to, to Eve. Amen. To, who said you couldn't eat from the tree? Amen. Who said you're going to die? You're not going to shit. You're not going to die. Amen. The enemy is going to always come with a half truth. He can't come with truth. Praise God, but he's going to come with a half truth. But I still thank God in Jesus' name. And even when, when the Lord came, amen, praise God, looking for Adam. Amen. Where are you? Where are you? They were hiding, praise God. They were hiding themselves. So fig leaves, praise God, because they said we're naked. 
Remember, they were naked and unashamed before the enemy came about. But still to understand this, praise God, when Jesus asked the question, amen, when God asked this question to them, who told you? Who's speaking to you? Still again, praise God, who's speaking to you? Who's telling you the things that they're telling you? And this is the thing so many that they say, they say, who are they? Who are they? Praise God. This is why we have to know what does the word of God, his word, God's word, what is it saying? Who are you saying today? Who do you say that Jesus is? Who are you saying that God is in your life? Who's revealing it to you? Amen. Praise God. We bless God today. And I thank God. Amen. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Your confession. Your confession. Praise God of who he is. Because we can't go by what Big Mama say. We just can't go by what the pastor said. Amen. We have to know him for ourselves. And when you know him for yourself, thank you, Lord God. Amen. Nobody can take that away from you. Nobody can take away, praise God, when you know him as a healer. When you know him, thank you, Lord God, as a deliverer. When you know him as a savior, thank you, Lord God, when you know him as a peace giver. When you know him as the way maker. When you know him, thank you, Lord God, as a provider. Thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name, that praise be unto God because you tried him for yourself. Tried him for yourself and you know him. And I bless God and still again, amen, praise God, the keys that will be placed into your hands. You got keys, amen, the word of God, the keys, the firm foundation. Thank you, Lord God, in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. Father, we come before your presence. We're giving thanks. We're giving glory and honor to you, our Savior, our Savior, our God. We thank you, Lord God, Abba, Abba. Thank you, Lord God. Abba means Father, Father in the house. And God, we thank you because you're Abba in our house. We thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus today. We're praising and glorifying you, Lord God, thanking you again for life, thanking you for health. We thank you for the strength, Father, that you've given unto us. We praise you and glorify you for this day. Thank you, Father, for your faithfulness. New mercies right now. New mercies, Father, that we see in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. We bless you and honor you, Lord God. Great is, Father, your faithfulness towards us. We thank you, Lord God, this day. In the name of Jesus, thank you for our family. Thank you, Lord God. We give praise, Lord God, for our families. We thank you right now, Lord God, because we still know that your plan is a family plan. We thank you, Lord God, and praise and glorify you. Thank you for our children. Thank you in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. We praise and magnify you, Lord God, once again, even for covering, Lord God, covering us. Thank you, Lord God, protecting us, watching over us. Thank you, Father. We bless your name. We thank you for the food, Father, still on our tables. Thank you, Lord God, the food that's in the pantry and our cupboards. We bless you and honor you, Lord God. You provide daily, Lord God, in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. And even through your word, Father, I once was young, but now I'm old. But I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed, Father, begging bread. We thank you, Lord God, because of who you are. You're the provider. We bless you and honor you right now in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. Every need, Father, we thank you right now that you're providing and making ways. We glorify you this day in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. Again, we praise you, Father. Thank you for that job. We bless you, Lord God, but still knowing, Lord God, it's a resource. This is a resource because, Father, we know that you are our source. We bless you and honor you, Lord God, and we look to you in the name of Jesus. We thank you now. We praise you, Lord God, that you're continuously making ways for us. We bless your name, and Father, we thank you. We glorify you right now. Thank you, Lord God, traveling mercies. We glorify your name. We thank you for those, Lord God, that's preparing for work, those that's already in the workplace. But, Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you for whatever mode of transportation. We give you praise for it. We thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name, ministering angels that go before us. We thank you, Lord God. We bless your name because of who you are. Who you are, we thank you, Lord God. Who do men say I am? Who do you say he is this morning? And Father, we bless you and we honor you. We praise you, Lord God. We thank you. In the name of Jesus, you're a healer. We thank you for healing our bodies. 
We thank you, Lord God, and even by faith we confess in the word of God out of our mouth because we are, Lord God, who you say we are and have what you say we have. And we thank you, Lord God, because you sent your word, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for healing today. We praise you and glorify you, Lord God, and still declaring everything that's out of order. We are calling into divine alignment right now with your word, with the word of God, because you said, Father, we are fearfully, wonderfully made. And Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. We praise you, Lord God, in your mighty name, that even as we call it, Lord God, and decree and declare it, our bodies are healed, our minds are healed. We thank you, Lord God, that even relationships, Father, the healing that's taking place, we glorify you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We bless you and honor you, Lord God, this day, Lord God, in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. God, we praise you. We glorify you. We thank you that we're not conformed. We're not conformed to the world. But Father, we thank you. We're transformed by the renewing of our minds. We thank you, Lord God. We're not going in the ways of the world, but we're trusting your word. We're trusting, Lord God, what you've already spoken. Trusting, Lord God, what you're doing. We thank you this morning, Father. Some of us know you. Who do you say I am? Know you as healer, 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 healer. Thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, healing our bodies, healing, healing right now in the name of Jesus, Father, where we're hurting. We thank you now, Lord God, healing that broken heart, Father. We thank you in the name of Jesus. You're the one that's able to mend it. We praise you. We glorify you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you now. We praise you for it, Lord God, and being the comforter that you are. Thank you, Lord God, your comforted minds, Lord God, today. Comfort in the hearts. We thank you, Lord God, we're lifting your sons, your daughters, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you in Jesus' name. You are our comforter. You are, Lord God, in Jesus' name today. So, Father, we look to you. We praise you even now, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Father, what you give beauty, Lord God, yet for ashes. We thank you in the name of Jesus. You give us joy, Lord God, in the name of Jesus' morning. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Lord God, still give your word. Bless our day that morn, for they shall be comforted. We thank you in the name of Jesus today. We praise you, Lord God, for everything that you're doing in the midst of us. We bless your name. Father, I thank you. We honor you, Lord God, our Savior, our God. We praise you, Father, still again in the name of Jesus. Thank you for opening windows, windows, the windows of heaven, Father, that's open over us. Thank you for pouring out your blessings, your many blessings, Lord God, upon us. We thank you in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. We praise you today, Father. We thank you right now, Lord God, and even as we stand in faith, because there's no other way that we can stand but in faith. Thank you, Lord God, and you said that without faith it's impossible for us to even please you. So, Father, I thank you that today, even as we stand in faith and still knowing, Lord God, that you are able, you are able, Lord God, to do exceeding abundantly above even that what we ask or even what we are thinking. Father, we bless your name and we glorify you this day in the name of Jesus. So, again, that question, who do you say? Who do you say that he is? Who is he in your life? Who is he? Thank you, Lord God. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, Father. We thank you for being a friend. Thank you, Lord God, a friend that sits closer than a brother. Father, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. We glorify you right now that even as you're with us and walking, Lord God, walking us through this, we thank you, Lord God, whatever circumstance or situation we find ourselves in. We bless you and honor you, Lord God, because you are still God. You're still God. And we bless you and honor you because you said you would never leave nor forsake us. And we thank you for your word because, Lord God, you cannot and will not and have not ever lied. We thank you, Lord God. We're standing on every promise, every word. This day in the name of Jesus, thank you today. We praise you, Father. Thank you right now. Even when our hearts are overwhelmed, Father, we thank you that you're still that rock. Thank you, Lord God, that's higher, higher than where we are right now. And we look up, Lord God, to you. We're looking up. In the name of Jesus, look up. Hold your hand up. He's the lifter. Thank you, Father, of our hands. In the mighty name of Jesus today, and we thank you. We praise you, Lord God, giving glory and honor to you, our Savior, our God. Our God. He's our God. Our God, in the name of Jesus, he'll be to you whatever you need him to be. This day in the name of Jesus, what you need him to be. 
Thank you, Lord God. He is. You are who He says you are. You have. Thank you, Lord God. Whatever God says you have, you have. In the mighty name of Jesus, and more than anything you can do, whatever God says, thank you, Lord God, that you can do it. It's still by faith. By faith. Remember the just, how we live. We, we live by faith. We're walking by faith. By faith in the mighty matchless name of Jesus today. I praise God for each and every one of you in the mighty name of Jesus. That even as you go today, thank you, Lord God, the blood of Jesus cover you. Wherever you go, every appointment, every assignment, in the name of Jesus today, still knowing. Thank you, Lord God. God is with you. He's your strength. Thank you, Lord God, your comfort. He's your peace. He's your provider. He'll be, thank you, Lord God, whatever you need him to be. In the name of Jesus, it's still that question, who do you say he is? Father, I thank you once again today by your authority. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, Lord God, I thank you for your sons, your daughters. And we come, Lord God, against every evil altar. Lord God, we come against every high thing, every stronghold. Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We come against every demonic spirit attack. Lord God, that's coming against your sons, your daughters, against, Lord God, even our families, against, Lord God, our health, against, Lord God, even our finances. We still decree and declaring that it's helpless, it's powerless, it's inoperative, it's still ineffective. We're confessing, Father, your word. You said no weapon that's formed against us shall be able to prosper. And Father, we're standing on that word this morning in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, knowing that you will do, Lord God, your word. It's not coming back to you, boy, but it's coming back fulfilled. We thank you, Lord God, again, that we are who you say we are. Have what you say we have, and we can do whatever, Father, you say we can do. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, I pray that you go in the peace of God. Go in the love of God, but remember, who do you say? Who are you saying here? Who are you saying today he is? Open your mouth and declare it in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Praise God. We thank God for the word of God. Amen. This morning, praise God, coming from the woman of God. Who do you say that he is to you? Amen. Praise God. I know who he is to me. Amen. He's my all in all. He's my keeper. Amen. Praise God. He's my way maker. He's my miracle worker. Amen. I bless God this morning for the word coming from the woman of God. Listen, I pray that you have been encouraged, inspired. Amen. Praise God. And equipped and empowered this morning from the word of God. Amen. Listen, as you go throughout the day, always say this. Amen. Encourage yourself. Encourage others around you. Amen. Speak life and not death. Speak victory and not defeat. And know that you're way more than conquerors. You're an overcomers. Amen. You've been brought with the price, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Live on purpose. Live with um, live with purpose. Amen. Live the purpose driven life. Amen. And go in peace. And know I'm in agreement with the woman of God, even as she spoke over your life. Amen. Praise God. Victory. Amen. Is yours. Amen. Who do you say he is? God bless you.